feel like more recently wanting to have some car chronicle conversations while I'm heading to lunch. <laughs> why not, right? And probably people are thinking, why are you wearing a sweater? Because I'm cold. Um, the AC be cracking like it, okay? And I don't know how to feel about it. Mind you, I'm a cold person in general. But I don't like that. And it looks like it's a lot of people turn. Mm -mm. Car Chronicles over with. I can't. Okay, as I was saying, mind you, there is this big semi blocking everything. Anyway. I'm a freeze baby. I don't know when this happened. Maybe a few years ago. Maybe a couple years ago. I don't remember. But I've never been this cold in my life. And it's not like I'm anemic or anything. Definitely not that. I don't know what I need. But pipe down on the AC a little bit. Just, just a little bit establishments please when it's not like a hundred degrees outside um I don't understand what, what's happening but it's okay I'm gonna get my food we're gonna have a good Friday cause it's giving summer vacation because my um, just my people they be people in good people in <laughs> so we gonna see I always say what is this weather and it's a weekend the inner me just wants to you know act up but do I ever go out to act up not really this will change eventually again <laughs> hopefully we will see because it's just I don't I, I either get like the stares of like this person is new I'm not new baby I'm not or I'm, I just get the stares and you ain't got stare so hard But I gotta embrace it, I guess. So we'll see if any shenanigans happen between the next couple days. We'll see. Hey y'all. It's given very much give me the estate, the farmhouse estate at that. Give me my chickens, my cows, my lambs. All of that in my chicken coop. That's what it's giving right now. But this was my running errands outfit before my day of rest. I didn't want to do too much. Not sure if I want to go on live or not tonight. But I always have this idea that when it's nice outside and it's the weekend, I have the time have the space for it I want to do things like go out however I'm still in this like introverted situation where I just don't like the stairs <laughs> I just it's just something about it and I never used to be aware of it until more recently in life and just even today going to the grocery store mind you it j if i can do minimal stuff i will but it was just like people have that type of stare that they want to say something to you but they don't it's like You know, just be, just, cause I'm not 
I'm not trying to look like I don't want you to bother me, but you know, it's just it. be social with me. That's all, you know. But um, yeah, I did my normal routine where I like to clean my space before my day of rest so I don't have to worry about anything. And your girl likes a clean home. Girl likes to have a clean smelling place, wonderful smelling place. And that's where my candles could come in for your enjoyment as well. So go ahead, follow me right here. And go to the website if I include it here. Um, you know what, YouTube, that would be a good idea if you could do like interactive type of links, but it's just me. Heard it here first if they do. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're going to see where this vlog goes. Probably my per usual. I'm going to act up, but I'm going to be acting up at a park somewhere or somewhere in nature. Just chilling. But I do plan in the future, a little bit down the line, to actually go grilling again outside. It's one thing I do like to do when I have a grill that I can take on the go with me. So I do want to do that, cook some grub up there, but I don't think I'm going to do that this weekend. But we will see where everything ends up going because I'm a planner, but I'm now spontaneous with certain things. So we will see. Enjoy the video. It's giving, give me my farmhouse and my cabin with my cows and my chickens. That's what it's giving. But enough of all that. Yeah, hi. Um, did you mop today? Did you vacuum? Did you put your laundry away? Did you clean your space? Do it smell like the power of pine salt, baby? Do, ooh, ooh. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna need you to get up. Just do a little bit of cleaning. That's it. And that's all. Because it's gonna clear your mind. It's gonna make you feel better. It's gonna make you feel productive. Okay? Go ahead on. Goodbye. I'm looking like a whole picnic blanket, bro. But we're cute out here, though. It's cute. Off the shoulder. Duh. But. We we just gonna be inside. We just gonna turn up on the inside. Because one thing people, more people, which I'm glad they're doing, is to love their own company. Be able to chill out. Chill. Mm-hmm. Spice to it. <clears throat> Little drink, drink, if you will. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Hey everybody, so this day will consist of more self-care. Um, just want to be able to, like I said in previous vlogs, to do more massages. Um, might as well use it since I have a membership now and may have a lunch. That's my usual combo when I'm able to fit in 
on the side. I don't know, today, I don't want to say I feel off, but I think it's like FOMO. I'm feeling a little bit of FOMO because with my day of rest, you know, it usually consists on the weekend. So by the time my weekend's over, which is Sunday, I feel like I'm not like one of the cool kids, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're going to see where this day goes. I may just come back after and chill. <sighs> we'll see. Let's go. So there's two restaurants in the area where I get my massage. One looks a little bar-like, the other is a diner. I went to the diner before, as you've seen in a previous vlog, but I don't know if I want something different. Like on the menu? Look at me already thinking about lunch. Ciao. Or just go back home. I don't know, I just feel... I'm never bothered, but I just don't want to feel like I'm being bothered, being around other people. You know what I mean? I guess it's just an inadvertent type of day for me. Hmm. I guess it just depends on how busy it will be at that time. All right, let me head into this massage. Also, is the skin skinning today? Mm -hmm. I guess it's cooperating today with me <laughs> but yeah hope y'all day is going well and if you're having an introverted day like me push through it you'll be okay you know when you just we try to push through, but it's hard. You know what I mean? We're, we here. Okay. <sighs> Shake whatever this is off. Like, ugh. Giving very much ick. <clears throat> so what they say now? Ick. And this is something that I've noticed too. It's like, okay, usually when I go to like self-care places and try new things, especially trying to find a massage place because that took forever, but it's like, okay, I hit gold the first time with the masseuse that I was with, but then she seems to be unavailable with a good reason. She's really good. But like, it's just frustrating when you can't find like an option B sometimes because I do this for my health and my relaxation because your girl can be real tense, especially up here. Oh, I'm tense. But it's like, can I please have a good plan A and plan B? Please. So I can alternate between the two. That's all I want. That's it. Why am I like giving myself a prep talk before going in here? What is happening? It's okay. Let me go in. <laughs>
Good news, bad news. Good news is I found a secondary masseuse. She's cool. She did what she needed to do. That's all I can ask. Mind you, first, it was a little, I felt a little rushed, you know, not really listened to. But that's okay. I get it. Hectic day, right? But she took her time with me. And that is something that is kind of rare to me. Because it's just like, okay, rub arm, rub legs, rub back, you're done, right? Mm -mm. You can tell when a masseuse knows certain pressure points, you know? Because even I wanted to go to school for it, but I still might. You never know. You never know with me when it comes to education, I will do it. It's just the, the caringness, you know, because your girl, I don't know if I slept on it wrong, but this right here, whatever this muscle is, I, I done something pulled it or something when I was lifting groceries or something. I just, it's been aching the past couple of days. It still hurts because it's a knot that is almost impossible without a two hour massage to get out. But nonetheless, it feels a ton better. And I know when I have this type of issue, it takes a little while for it to work itself out, but that helped me accelerate the progress. Yeah, that was the good news. Found a cool secondary situation. So I went to the same diner. I'm thinking, just in this area in general, people have been making good like buffalo chicken mac and cheese. When I tell you this was craft mac and cheese. I'm gonna need to put my glasses down for this. Craft mac and cheese. And preschool chicken tenders cooked OD. So was the mac and cheese mush no no ma'am no mind you i will try new things same dishes different restaurants sort of either or i will try it out i don't even want to give it a two out of ten but at least it made me feel even more relaxed somehow even though i was pissed off eating it <laughs> but here's the thing Comp me for my meal, sure. But at the same time, when the waitress is nice, I'm a tip. Because first off, it ain't, I'm not pissed at anybody, but I'm a tip the waitress because they, they really have no control of what the cook is doing. You know what I mean? So I feel like I had to turn like a just a situation that I wasn't expecting into a positive so I was like you know what I just need to tip her while I was on pay you know not for the meal but close to it because I know in that type of work I don't care if it's a nice area slow you know steady but consistent consumer base I know what it's like to be in a servitude type of position and to it's always nice for somebody to at least recognize you know that so when I can I like to help people out in that way now I'm not gonna let this deter me from coming back to the place because the menu is really good however to me with restaurants it's a two strike type of situation for me this is one they got another one I think I'm about to go home though I don't know we'll 
you'll see. But let me get out this parking lot because it's starting to get busy. So I just want to go home. Apparently this is the entryway to it. I don't know why there's so many people around right now. I'm shocked. I would have taken my prom pictures over here if I knew about this place. People climbing the bars. So apparently this was just a smaller addition of the estate that whoever built this was. Entryway. Somewhere there's more parts of it somewhere. But let's go explore. time.
I do not have the right shoes. But that's okay. We're going slow. I don't know what type of sediment this is. I don't know if it's clay, dirt, smooth, but it's rugged at the same time. All right, let me get up this hill. So I decided to do this incline to find out if it ended. Nope, it keeps going again. Not the shoes that I need for this excursion, but I'll definitely be back. This seems like a new challenge for me because I like paths that have various inclines for me because I think I get more cardio that way, but we're going down. Especially with the right shoes, this is definitely doable. And then in the end, you get to see a castle. So it's fun. Funny story, when I was a child, I absolutely could not stand going outside. I don't know if it was because I got sent by a bee, or at the time, it was just all hot. I couldn't take it and sometimes well not sometimes all the time I would have to go over my friend's house like they never came to mind cousins family members nothing and don't boo hoo for me I'm just saying that was my life okay Two. Oh, my calves. Oh, okay. So, you know, sometimes when you get a massage, like you're warned that you may be sore because it's low key, like working out everything. Well, today my calves. It just ow. That's it. But today is going to be a writing day for me. So started a little bit earlier in the day, but I do want to write a little bit more before the end of my day. Just some some things in my head. And how I want to formulate it to be able to explain some full circle moments like especially with this third book now mind you second book still in the process of being read and all that to be able to have it on Amazon and hopefully in stores with the third book as as my writing style in general is just like I'm talking to you now like I think that it's important for my voice to actually be on paper because a lot of people have told me like close friends of mine even who text me often they can hear my voice when they read a text message of mine because I'm 
animated. I, whoo, and I need a distraction from this calf situation, both of them. So we're going to get into the writing space and then we'll see where this video concludes. This may be the last sequence. You know, again, I never know. I like to keep y'all on your toes. So let's get to writing. In this particular study session, I was in Malachi starting at chapter one, just started reading it. And just to sum it up, it was basically why bring things to the Lord that are either defiled, pretty much just meaning bringing things to him that are disrespectful to him because in the old testament it gives a lot of emphasis on certain things that the congregation would need to do in order to please god and it's kind of it it, it is written out on the specifications and so forth so as you read the Old Testament, you also see a lot of characteristics of his people just being completely hard-headed or have a short-term memory on what God has done for them. So that is a very consistent thing with God and his relationship with his children. So it's like at this point to me in malachi god is just like y'all still ask me <laughs> how do i love you and because it opens up it opens up and says you know how i loved you and you still ask how and doing all this stuff and you ask how did I do it or you know what I mean in that type of regard so that was really impactful because in that sense you can always compare God to a fatherly figure but that really stood out to me because it's just like you know how some children especially in their teenage years and adolescence they just like are completely just against the grain with their parents or trying to be disobedient and trying to just have all the control and you know how that goes either you were an adolescent or you well of course you know if you're older you would have been an adolescent but you get what I'm saying <laughs> You know what it's like to be in the adolescent stage, or if you are an adolescent, you may be feeling that way and trying to rebel with your caretaker, parent, whatever, whoever is taking care of you. And <laughs> to me, I've always was like, that's pretty relatable because I see it all the time now pretty much just wanting to show the ways or explain the ways that I love but people are just stiff neck about it so it's this chapter really stood out to me but that's basically the gist of that chapter so now I'm just doing my usual just written prayer to God and I hope this helps somebody too where given that this year and ever since a few years ago 
people are in a similar stage where okay it was a drawback a few years ago last year things were kind of getting back to the normalcy of things but now this year is time and room for growth and I just had a conversation about this this morning a lot of people are still feeling the burnout from everything else they're still trying to figure out their entrepreneurial ways they're still trying to even still hold on to the faith and hope about certain things so I would encourage people especially the later half of this year to focus on what they're truly trying to hope and have faith in and just have a genuine heart when it comes to wanting to receive that and endure because one thing about it that I know (laughs) for sure is that God is going to test what you want. He is going to be like, okay, yeah, this can happen. That ain't nothing to me. But can you handle it? What you're asking me on what you want, can you handle it? Like, look at your situation right now. You can't even get, you can't even take control of the situation that I'm currently putting you in now do you really think you can level up because it's more than prayer it's more than wanting something it's more than desiring stuff you have to take the steps with him in order for him to guide you in the right direction and it's better to keep stumbling than it is to just be hard-headed and entitled to what you think needs to happen because it's never on your term and it's never on your time it's his will for you it's his path for you so what can you do to help yourself along the way to get to that desired step because I never want to say it's an outcome because you're never going to be in a place where you're like, okay, cool, I achieved everything, that's it. I don't believe that's ever like that. So for those that like to have a consistent step forward with anything, it could be the most minute thing, it doesn't matter. As long as you're taking that step towards things. And I'm so sorry that my neighbors like to shout, so if you hear them, my apologies. Um, where was I? Just taking the step forward to do things that you feel like it is scripturally aligned. Because that's always a foundational thing because a lot of people go back and forth. It's like, oh, it's how I feel. I feel like he would want this for me. I feel like you can get a lot of confirmation with scriptures and what you need to do so that is my suggestion for you but now that i am done with my bible study i'm going to transition into writing a little bit when i'm in the writing mood or space as i called it before it is usually triggered by something so what I'm doing now is just looking up some you know current news that's happening current events and usually I like to stay current within certain parameters I have a strong 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 border boundary, whatever you want to call it. I have a strong sense of knowing when I want to look at stuff and when I just don't. Most of the time, I just don't. But current 
events or just random articles to me sometimes can put me in a space that reminds me of something that's related to the topic that I want to write about. So it just usually bounces some ideas for me. This is a rare occasion, but just today I figured I try and do it because with the concept of this third book, and it's probably weird that I'm talking about the third book when my second book hasn't been released yet, but I just haven't recorded the second book process, so I'm starting with my third. With my writing style, I want to be as current and authentic to where I'm at in life in that moment and convey that type of feeling because I know I'm going to write more and more books at this point so I want to be able to have a sequenced type of flow but with different topics so for example my first book is tying between concepts of clinical mental health and the concept of how you can utilize God to get yourself better in that realm. My second book is just about pretty much, how do I say it without (laughs) giving it away? It's several sectors that people go through in life and how they can become more stable and content within those spaces. So that's going to be the second one that I would want to release. And then the third one, which is current to this day that I'm writing, it's it's more personalized to me because the first two books have been self-help books, of course, that I put my own examples into it because I'm never going to talk about something that I haven't gone through myself and haven't healed from myself. So if you see certain things that I may kind of pop in there, I'm still possibly going through it. But I want people to know that they're not alone in that regard. So that is my writing niche. So for my third one, I want to be able to tap into a space where I know that I'm relatable enough with the concept as more people, especially in my generation, we have such a broad skill base and I know that prior generations they have told specifically me, just speaking solely here, that I wouldn't be able to do all of these things and be good at what I do but in my regard and I I think this for myself I have been in many sectors already in life when I'm talking about professionally and to be honest personally and I have triumphed each time and I have grown in each situation so I don't believe that a lot of people are able to say that they're as adaptable as people like myself are and if you're more planned if you're more of the longevity when it comes to just sticking to one thing I totally understand that because three things about me I'm a write something I'm a buy sell or trade something I'm going to create something that will always be my three foundational niches that just are a part of me. But anyway, I didn't mean to talk your ear off all like that, but that does include this video. I hope you enjoyed and until the next one, take care.